Yeah, my awesome thing of the week is this thing called Speechify. It's an app on the phone. I was on Facebook, and it's ADHD Awareness Month, so they're targeting me. And they advertise this app. And it's super cool because what it does is it turns text from the internet, from anywhere, and it'll turn it into speech. And you can actually read along in the app as it's talking to you. You can put in a website, and it will convert the website into text that it can read. You can put in a Word document, anything like that. And you can also just copy and paste, which is going to be a huge deal for me because a lot of people nowadays, they'll have a sentence or, or a paragraph rather that sometimes it's a, it's a single sentence as well, but it'll last like the entire length of your phone. And I don't have the concentration abilities to decipher that, especially without paragraphs. So now I'm going to throw it into Speechify uh, and I'll, I have a little clip here. And it's uh, of, I, I just copied and pasted from your show notes, Sorg, and uh, here it is. Slice. Know what makes hashtag podcast day even better during this hashtag COVID-19 quarantine? The hashtag perfect pepperoni pizza from at PGH underscore slice. While eating may not be enough. So there you go. And uh, that was easy to understand. And that's uh, how we're you're... doing our ads from now on. Yeah, right? That's so I great. can take a breather. It's great. <laughs> yeah, but it, it, it's funny because there is this wonky little thing with it where eventually it will switch the voice like even more Stephen Hawking sounding. Um, if you pay them extra money, I guess you can pick. It, 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 they, it, the trial's kind of dumb. They give you three days, but they charge you on the third day, and it's like about 140 bucks for the year. Mm. I'm, I'm strongly considering it, just having played with it uh, literally on the walk over, because mm-hmm. I do think that it would be really great for me, especially with, with the text messaging. How much was it? Uh, uh, About 140, I, th- I think I saw. That's a year for the year. Okay, yeah. that's not bad, especially that's something that you desperately need, you know, for for, you know, you know, for ADHD and stuff like that too. So um, no, that seems like a great tool. So uh, so how many days have you been using? Did you say? Uh, I literally created the account walking over here. Mm. I was like going to the bathroom before I came here and you know everyone has great ideas when when they're doing that and that my great idea was I haven't tried this app out yet let's try it out and uh, I was playing with it literally on the walk over I tested it I tested it with the website and with the word document so I can say in my 10 minute using this app that both of those things have worked for me so far uh, Chilla, I feel like this, like, because I know you, you deal a bit with accessibility and stuff. Is this something that uh, competes your interest? Yeah, it's, it's, it's super interesting. And when it, when you brought up that page, the amount of things that it integrates with, I'm interested to see how mm-hmm. you could kind of just plug it into existing applications and have it read. So you can actually log in your Apple ID to access iCloud, your Google Drive, it, it, Dropbox, and then it will actually access those libraries so you could just upload things straight from the computer and if you're on the computer there's actually a chrome extension for your browser so you don't even have to transfer it to a different application it'll just mm-hmm. work right within chrome i dig it but I, i'm wondering like because i saw on there did i see zoom because i'm wondering like oh, really how nice would that be like for you as the host even sorg that if we put because right now you don't want to bounce back and forth from the chat but if we wanted to give you a heads up on something via chat, if that came into one of your ears. Ooh, that's cool. You know what I mean? Okay. <clears throat> so I like not just idea. from the, from, I mean, there's definitely, there's always the accessibility angle, but, you know, making it, a- adapting it to others that may not need it from the accessibility perspective just opens up that many more doors and gives the company that much more of an advantage when it becomes kind of that multifaceted approach. But I, I could definitely see this, um, whether it's, you know, ADD or even I'd be interested for, for someone who's blind, anything like that, giving them this capability is is pretty phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good point with, with people who are blind. Um, there's so many opportunities with it. it it's super cool. Um, I know like, there are some things I just won't read. People send it to me and, mm-hmm. or even like I'll be getting through a document and I'm just like, all right, this is enough. I can't deal with this. Um, 
yeah, so I'm, I'm thrilled. But if you're able to throw in this, that's great. I mean, that's for me. Like, I, I love, you know, I was trying to be a better magazine reader with, the, with the, you know, Apple News Plus. And then when I saw that, like, a lot of the articles, especially on Wired, that I, I like, um, but just some of those articles are really, really long. They have, like, they have narrated versions. So I was diving into a lot of those, actually, and it was really cool to, to have that option, right? So, and I've always been iffy about, um, like, Kindle had a, a thing for, I think they still have it, where they'll read, like, books to you, right? Oh, wow. It was a very, you know, robotic voice that's yeah. really doing it. So it's kind of hard to follow along, right, without inflection. So oh, I'll be interested to see how that rolls.